goes like this. And it just closed on me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Emmy here. Welcome to the Emmy experience. Okay, yes, that's where you're at. That's what we're doing. Um, and it's happening right here, right now. Yes. So today's video, I'm doing a foundation review, a little unboxing first on Il, Il Maquillage. Yes, I've been seeing this brand <clears throat> all over my Instagram. And basically you take a quiz, online quiz, and it matches the foundation to you. So uh, we're just going to see how they did. I will post um, the process like... Um, it asks you like what your skin type is, what kind of foundation you're looking for. Are you looking for something that's more matte? Are you looking for something more full coverage? Something that's going to give you more of a lumi lum a luminous, a luminous glow, okay? And like what kind of coverage, um, light, medium, full coverage, right? To my belief, I think they only have one foundation. So I'm a little confused on how... You know, if you want <coughs> matte and I want dewy, how that works. But um, we'll see. We'll we'll figure out what's in the box. So there is no such thing as too much. I agree. So the packaging is cute. That's the box. It says these products are yours to try for 14 days, starting on the day it was delivered. Love it or return it. If you love them, keep them. If if you shockingly, okay, it says shockingly don't visit ilmaquillage.com to return and whatever right first so today i'm just going to be showing you guys how well they actually did match me and also i'm just going to wear the foundation all day today and let you know does it stay on does it move how we're feeling okay so back to the box um it comes like this i'm assuming this is the foundation oh shit sorry it's like stuck to each other yeah this is the most reviewed foundation online. I don't know if you can see that. It comes with a oh, waterproof liquid eyeliner. Okay, I didn't order that, so that's nice. And then I did order the concealer just because, why not? Okay, so the tester to test these products, I think it cost me, um, it's like five something to test the foundation. And then with the concealer, I think it cost me like, it was like an extra dollar. Um, not too costly, which is nice. Let's just get into this. Let's just get into it because I want to see how well they did. Okay. Wow. All right. So this is the bottle, Il Maquillage. Here she is. So just from the bottle, it, it looks like it could be a match, honestly. But we'll see. We'll see how the undertones. It asks you in the quiz, like, what your undertones are. Um, I put down that I have more golden um i feel like i have more neutral sometimes in the summer um my undertone can become more i can't get this shit off sometimes in the winter my undertone can become more red i think it really just depends on like what kind of um what kind of hair color i have i think it brings out different tones which is why i feel like i have more of a neutral undertone this is the color they matched me they matched me as 175 it says Woke up like this is the color, but the concealer, they matched me at number 13. It says, fuck on flawless. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they ain't wrong. They ain't wrong. I think it might just be called fuck on flawless, but it just says 13. But yeah, the box is cute for the foundation. Like, look at her. It goes like this. And it just closed on me. <laughs> Um, okay, where was I going with this? <clears throat> See what this color looks like because I'm very curious. Oh shit. Um, all right, y'all. So you saw that, right? Like, <laughs> oh shit. I'm just gonna say this, especially as a black girl, to my black girls, like, it's hard to find foundation in your color. And, like, you go to the stores and then the white woman 
or anybody is trying to tell you that you're a color that you're not even other black girls sometimes do not know how to match you if they're not familiar with working on brown skin tones um so i'm really interested in seeing how this online matching is going to work all right so i put a thick piece just so you could really see and honestly i think that's a pretty i think that's a pretty good match um so i'm just gonna also do a swipe okay yeah so it's a little bit lighter um i mean concealer is supposed to be lighter i just wanted to see what it looked like um, okay put this foundation on and see what happens I think what I'm gonna do first, a little maquillage. I think I'm just gonna put it on half of my face and then y'all can tell me, y'all can tell me what you think. So I did prep my skin before putting this foundation on. Um, I have, I think I should've said this in the beginning, I have more of dry skin dry like combination skin i have some places that are oily but overall my face is dry the weather has just changed it's like oh it's october the weather is changing a lot i'm drying it's so it's drying my skin out because i'm in new york summer was really hot my dry skin didn't feel dry because of how humid it was light oil ser serums is what i was using on my skin now that we're switching into the fall and cloudy more windy weather i'm wearing a lot heavier um skincare products so i'm really interested to see how this product because i do have sensitive skin how this product will react with me today and how it will oxidize on my skin so we will be figuring this out together um since i did mention i have dry skin <coughs> um so far i don't feel anything really bothering my skin just yet it feels very lightweight very lightweight okay like, don't really feel like i don't really feel like i'm wearing foundation but i want y'all to see how it looks so i think i'm gonna move you to the bathroom because my bathroom has really good lighting first okay now that i'm in my bathroom i feel like it's a bit more golden than my actual skin tone but i'm not mad at that i think it's just giving me more of a glow which is what i wanted i, I marked down that i wanted more of a um luminous look so yeah i think it's it's giving that so this is the side that has it don't mind my lash extensions they look kind of weird and then this is the side that doesn't um i do have like little like acne on my cheek on this side as well but um i think it did a really pretty good job of covering it okay all right like okay i thought that my bathroom had good lighting but i'm in my roommate's room right now because she has better natural lighting than i do at the moment but um yeah so this is the side that has it and this is the side that doesn't it you can't even see like where it stops on my face so i'm actually really happy with its matching job it doesn't feel irritated it doesn't feel dry it feels very lightweight um on my on my skin so yeah, now let's try the concealer because I didn't, I forgot to put that on. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try the concealer on both sides. Um, the side that doesn't have foundation and the side that does. Just to see. Uh, oh, excuse me. Um, just to see if anything looks different. Um, now, I normally don't use this light of a concealer. I use one that matches my skin tone a little bit better. Um, but hey, maybe they match me wrong. Maybe or maybe I'm supposed to use it like this. I'm not too sure. Okay. Um. So that blended really smoothly, I would say. Huh. Um yeah. Okay, so maybe I should have been using a lighter concealer this whole time because I think it blended in really nicely. Um, I don't like to wear a lot of concealer just because, I mean, I need it. Don't get me wrong. I got bags. Okay, your girl got bags under her eyes. But um, I just don't like to wear a lot of concealer just because this is the most sensitive and like 
lightest and thinnest part skin that you have you know on your face so i don't like to do too much because i think that also makes it sag even more or like makes it look darker so um maybe that's why it looks like it's blending really well let's go to the bathroom one more time um concealer on this side and foundation concealer only no foundation um yeah it looks it looks really good honestly i'm not i'm not mad at it so i'm gonna put foundation on the other side of my face and do the rest of my makeup and i will update you in like an hour and then maybe do like a three hour update just to see if anything has changed but so far you know i don't want to gas it up because it's too early to tell you know if there's anything i learned in life don't say too much too soon right <laughs> so um yeah stay posted stay tuned i will let you know in the next hour okay actually i wanted to add one more thing because i just put it on the second half of my face um this side has more blemishes <laughs> side has more blemishes as you saw earlier i could get a job of, of covering it you don't need i don't think i mentioned this a few seconds ago but you don't need a lot of pumps of this and i also like it's very generous and goes around the face pretty easily so this foundation will last you a long time um because it doesn't require a lot of pumps you know what i'm saying because the foundation that i'm using right now i kind of have to like maybe do like four or five pumps, maybe six sometimes really, to get the whole, to get my whole face. But um, the thing that I like about this foundation too that I'm realizing right now is that it's very buildable to be more full coverage. So like here I did a thin layer. I don't know if you could see like the blemishes cause I think, um, you know, can the foundation cover acne? And can it cover acne scars and hyperpigmentation and dark spots? Because this is a little bit of both in this area. I'm going to show you one more time. Um, I'm just going to do a quick little right here. So I think that's important to know. And I want to make sure that I like can be as informative as possible. But um, like, I hope the lighting is doing okay it's doing a pretty good job of covering it and like that was just like one extra pump so i would say that this foundation is very um buildable that's the word buildable yeah um if you wanted like a lighter look a little bit less coverage it can do that if you want to have something a little bit more full coverage but still dewy which is what i like okay i like it to look natural i'm not really into too much of a matte foundation but i think this does mattify a little bit now that it's been on for a few minutes and i'm pretty sure that it's ox oxidated on my skin is it a great match yes is it a little drying no like it's decent does it feel light on my skin yes um does it look dewy like does it look I think because this foundation, like I said that I have golden undertones, but I kind of have both. Like I kind of have more of a neutral and gold. I think what this foundation is doing, because I put down that I have more of gold than do than neutral, um, because it was an option of both, but I don't really have like neutral. I have more of a in between. So I, I think what's happening is like, it's making me look a lot more golden, which is giving me more of a like dewy and like, softer like look which i like personally but also it's it's kind of matte like it's a little bit matte but also like it feels like skin it doesn't feel like i'm wearing foundation and i feel like even with this light on like i feel like it's kind of matte it's like a weird combination of everything like it's full coveragey i said i wanted it to be like medium coverage because i feel like medium coverage is the, the best to be buildable so maybe that's why it's buildable because I said that it I wanted it to be. I don't know. I'm confused because so how is this one foundation going to give somebody a full coverage look? But what if somebody else wants a more natural look? So I think it's just the fact that it's kind of like Fenty and it's buildable, um, which kind of gives it everything. Because as you saw, my acne scars that I have on my cheek, 
you can't see it now. So it's it's delivering. It's delivered. Yeah. So buddy, okay, so I know that I said I was going to do an hour update, but um I ended up having to go run errands and whatnot, so I forgot, but I just came home. It's been about like four hours since I put it on. Um, okay, so this is how it looks. I did the rest of my face. I did it pretty light. Um, it's been about four hours that it's been on my face now. And um, I didn't do too much. I mean, I did use my regular um, contour, cons like contour, liquid contour. Um, and I popped on just like a little bit of highlight. I was trying to go for more of a natural look today. So um yeah that was this is really all that i'm looking like <laughs> but um yeah i'm pretty content with it like i don't know if you remember um all the acne scars that i have here um it did a pretty good job of covering them covering the discoloration of course i could still see a little bit of the bumps but i mean what can you do right doesn't bother my skin at all still feels very light i don't feel like cracking or dry i don't feel like it's producing extra oil on my skin um i did say that i have dry skin already the only thing is now that it's oxidized you can't really tell in this lighting but it is slightly darker than like my neck and stuff and i don't know if it's just because like if the color matches off here it just doesn't match like my skin 100 percent um but honestly what foundation does and i think since i like contoured um i think that helped like balance it out but originally before i did that because i was like in the house without it i noticed that it was slightly darker but also my neck is just white as fuck so i think that has something to do with it too but um yeah overall i would rate this foundation about a nine um just because i wish it was more of a match can't tell because i'm in my ring light and like my room is like not the, the most lit but um yeah i'm am i gonna keep the sample yes i am it came they gave me a whole bottle for a sample um i'm gonna keep it it also came with a waterproof eyeliner i don't know if i showed y'all that in like earlier but like a gel liner so that's cool too i'm gonna keep that too i'm just gonna keep it because i did a good job i know that it's going to not be a winter color but definitely a summer color so that's cool i hope this was helpful y'all thanks for watching and if you want to see more makeup videos let me know comment down below and i will deliver because that's what i do i deliver <laughs> um but yeah thanks for watching and uh don't forget to like this video and subscribe thank you